हेलो फ्रेंड्स इट्स सोनिया एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल द जॉय ऑफ रीडिंग फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एनालाइज एंड इंटरप्रेट अ वेरी ओल्ड इंग्लिश क्लासिक ब्लैक ब्यूटी रिटन बाय एना सेवल दिस बुक केम टू द बुक शॉप्स इन द ईयर 1877 फ्रेंड्स दिस बुक इज स्पेशल इन मेनी वेज द मोस्ट स्पेशल थिंग अबाउट द बुक इज दैट इट इज नरेटेड इन द फर्स्ट पर्सन as an autobiographical memoir told by a horse named black beauty who is the hero or the lead character of this novel an imaginary autobiography of a horse is quite a different thing though many people categorize it as children's novel but i found it equally relevant for adults too as it teaches us the basic human values of kindness sympathy and respect towards everybody be it a human or an animal black beauty was the only book written by this author though she had been helping in editing her mother's work since her childhood her mother mary wright civil was a popular author back then anna civil wrote this book between 1871 to 1877 she loved animals most of all she loved horses she once said that she wrote this novel to induce kindness sympathy and an understanding treatment of horses in her times there were no cars or buses horses were used to pull the carts or the vans that used to carry the loads or the humans thousands of horses were used as means of transportation throughout europe america and other parts of the world some owners were nice to the horses but some were very cruel towards them it was because of the bad treatment towards the horses that anna civil wrote this book it hurt her to see people being unkind towards a horse her novel was kind of an eye opener for many and played an important role in abolition of the cruel practice of using a check rein or the bearing rein friends bearing rein is a kind of strap used to prevent the horse from lowering its head beyond a particular point this rein was fashionable in victorian england but it was very painful for the horses people loved this book and it became one of the best selling books of all time but anna civil died on april 1878 only 5 months after the novel was published she never got to see the great success of her book though she witnessed its initial success in this book a beautiful black horse named black beauty tells about his life beginning with his carefree days as a colt in an english farm with his mother to his difficult days pulling carts in streets of london to his peaceful retirement in the country he recounts many tales of cruelty and kindness during his journey of life each chapter of this novel recounts an incident from his life which mostly were the experiences with his different owners by using the horse's point of view the author makes us empathetic towards him and all the other working animals and make us realize that how these innocent creatures survive at our mercy friends now i will tell you the story in short the story begins with a horse named black beauty reminiscing about his childhood or we can say colthood days with his mother his mother's name was duchess and his childhood was very happy and carefree they lived happily at farmer gray's farm his mother teaches him to respect and please their owners and behave nicely as he grew old farmer gray started to train him carefully he learned many things about riding humans on his back or pulling carriages wearing all the gears duchess was raising him with a strong sense of morals He was taught to be always obedient and respectful towards his masters. Then one day Farmer Gray sells him to a guy named Squire Gordon and he begins his life at Bitwick Park, Squire Gordon's home. There he works as a carriage and riding horse. Squire Gordon and his wife were very happy with him and they only named him Black Beauty. 
His groom John Manley was also very kind towards him. There were two other stable boys also who also were very kind towards the horses. Black Beauty liked John very much. There he befriends two horses, Ginger and Merry Legs. These two were his stable mates at Bedwick Park. He was leading a blissful life with his owners and stable mates. On Sundays they used to get up weekly off also. They were led to a field of good grass where they stayed without reins and harness for the entire day. Once they escaped a fire also when a man came smoking in the stables. James saved them. James was the other stable boy who learned from John how to be kind to horses. Then after some time little Joe Green replaced James. and soon the horses grew to love him also days passed by but the things don't remain same always one night black beauty rode very hard to fetch a doctor saving mrs gordon's life but falling sick himself joe due to his inexperience couldn't take proper care of him but when james took over black beauty started recovering Mr Gordon was grateful to him for saving his wife's life. He lived there happily for another year. Then his good luck started to turn bad as Gordon's decide to leave the place because Mrs Gordon was not keeping well there. They all were very sad. All the horses were sold. Beauty's new owners at Earls Hall were not that kind and loving. Beauty starts to face the misery of being tied with a bearing rein, a trendy bit of horse tag that holds the horse's head uncomfortably high. It was fashionable back then in London. Despite all this, Beauty was following his mother's advice to obey his masters. But everything changes when the alcoholic groom Reuben Smith takes the charge. Though he was very good at his work but when he was drunk he was not the same man. One night while riding back to home Smith lost his senses causing Beauty to take a fall which proved deadly for himself. In the process Beauty also got hurt badly. For weeks Beauty couldn't be normal. His legs were permanently scarred leaving him unfit for a fashionable carriage horse. they sell him he works as a horse for hire he pulls carts also he was sold and then resold to many owners but beauty withstands the indifferent and ignorant treatment every time he was treated poorly it took a toll on his health until he was sold to a kind london cab owner jerry barker he did not put any bearing rein on him and named him jack as he was not aware of his name jerry was a wonderful owner and he never whipped beauty jerry's family also loved beauty one more time beauty helped a woman in distress by sprinting her to a hospital but beauty's good luck doesn't hold for long jerry decides to move to the country to work for mrs fowler he is then sold to a kind farmer mr thorogood who wanted to rehabilitate him so that he can have a relaxed and good life he finally sells him to a nearby family where their groom recognizes the marks on his body and introduces him as the black beauty the groom was little joe green one of bitwick's former stable boys Beauty also recognizes him and was very happy to see him again. Everybody loved him there. The new owners were friends to Gordons and they decided to keep him there forever. Joe was the best groom Beauty could ever get and he lived there happily for rest of his days. So the story ends and thank God it was a happy ending. friends let's end this video now and do subscribe to my channel if you like my videos have a great day and keep spreading the joy of reading bye